All right, the Las Vegas Raiders rookies have reported to training camp all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with the veterans to report in a few days and fans are already down on the Raiders. They haven't had the whole team together for a practice yet and people are saying the Raider Nation sky is falling. Listen, I'm not here to BS anyone. The Raiders are unlikely to beat the Kansas City Chiefs and win the AFC West, but come on, I know you didn't expect that. But they can make some strides as a team and have a positive year. I don't believe the Raiders are tanking for Caleb Williams like many are saying. There are some things going on with the team that aren't ideal, but none of those things will be an impediment to the Raiders' season. The Raiders still have their 2023 season ahead of them. One thing you really shouldn't worry about is running back Josh Jacobs and the Raiders not getting a deal done. They never got close to a deal, but negotiations never got contentious and neither side grew frustrated with the other. It just didn't work out. The guys out there that are panicking saying, oh, he's going to sit this season out and yada yada yada, but I seriously doubt that. Jacobs has to play this season to get to free agency next year, plus he lived in a car for a portion of his childhood. So as much as he'd rather have a deal done, he's not going to leave $10 million on the table. Especially when there isn't a team in the NFL that's trying to pay a running back these days. So we'll most likely see what we've seen with most guys that get the franchise tag. He won't show up to training camp, then he'll sign that franchise tag right before the start of the season. The Raiders don't need him in training camp anyway. They need him week one. To me, all Jacob's absence does is remove the temptation to play him this preseason. Head coach Josh McDaniels needs Brandon Bolden to play for one of those running back jobs this preseason instead. And of course, everyone is freaking out over the first round pick now because he's on the non-football injury list. Edge rusher Tyree Wilson was put on the non-football injury list by the Raiders after he passed the physical. Did you hear me when I said after he passed the physical? Yes, he passed the physical and he is now on the non-football injury list for precautionary reasons. Remember, the Raiders said they were going to bring him along slowly. We can't start panicking and thinking the worst when the team does what the team said they were going to do all along. Like Jacobs, the Raiders don't need Wilson for training camp in the preseason games. They need the number 7 overall when it counts. Chandler Jones is making $17 million this year, so let him try to get back to form and show Wilson the way until the Raiders are comfortable with putting Wilson on the field. Yeah, I know it's ideal for a rookie to go through the entire offseason program and get as many reps as possible in camp, but it is more important for Wilson to really strengthen that foot so he can make it through the season. The Raiders sure don't need him out by week 5. No one was any more hopeful than I was about interior defense alignment Byron Young when the Raiders first drafted him. He could be a star in this league. The Raiders were able to get him in the third round a couple of months ago because he too often played on the edge on passing downs. The second team All-American certainly would have had much more pass rushing production if he had more opportunities to rush from the interior. He gets off the rock quickly, works well with his hands, and has long arms for an interior guy. He plays around well as a penetrating 3 technique and a 2 gapping 5 technique. But of course you've heard he'll start training camp on the physically unable to perform list. There's no reason to be overly concerned about that though. Once in a while you have guys on the physically unable to perform list for an extended period of time, but it's usually for a short period of time. According to Raider Insider Vinny Bonsignor, this one falls under the very short period of time category. The Raiders have the depth to cover that anyway. Jerry Tillery has played well since the Raiders traded for him and Bilal Nichols is healthy now after playing hurt last year. And now for the most important but most doubted Raider, Jimmy Garoppolo is fine. Not only did he pass his physical, but he will be on the field and active to start training camp. When he got down on Garoppolo after hearing he didn't pass his physical when he was first signed, but for no good reason. The new regime knew about the injury all along and protected the Raiders in the contract they gave him. Either way, that situation also went according to plan as they said all along that he would be ready for training camp. Oh, and then there are those that doubt what he could do on the field. Believe me, I understand, it's been tough these last 20 years, so it's hard to believe in anything. However, many of the same people that complained about former Raider quarterback Derek Carr's career record are unhappy about Garoppolo being a Raider and he's won 70% of his games over his career. They say look at the teams he's played on. He's had receiver Debo Samuel, tight end George Kittle, and running back Christian McCaffrey. My goodness y'all. He has receiver Devontae Adams, tight end Michael Mayer, and running back Josh Jacobs now. He has plenty around him. Yo, Raider Nation, it's going to be alright. It's really going to be alright. There are no major hiccups going into training camp. So what, Jacobs is going to be there. He'll show up week one when the Raiders need him. Wilson's going to be fine too. He passes physical. They just want to be super careful with him. 
There's nothing wrong with that, especially when you have Chandler Jones as your plan B. And Young won't be out long at all. He'll appear in training camp sometime soon. Oh, are you done with the Garoppolo drama yet? He passed his physical and won't start training camp on any list. The sky is not falling in Raider Nation. Thank you for watching. See you next time.